Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to yet another Mechanism version 10 modded Minecraft guide where today we're going to be discussing everything you can do with the Metallurgic Infuser, which is by far the most important machine in Mechanism. In fact, I've already got it here. It's, uh, well, it's not super beautiful, but it's super important. So let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? First things first, to make one of these like I did in the previous video here on the series, two furnaces, four iron ingots on the corners, two redstone dusts, and an Osby ingot, and bam, you have your metallurgic infuser. You also have to have your power source, which I do have underneath, hidden, to make this nice and pretty. Now, the metallurgic infuser infuses two different items, and so it's able to do that with 25 different items. Uh, and so I have them all here, separated out and set up in a perfect way. Why does it have to rain? There we go. Okay, no more rain. So, uh, once again, 25 things can be done with this metallurgic infuser. Some things that I'm going to demonstrate later, some things that I'm going to demonstrate now, but the very first thing I'm going to demonstrate are upgrades because, frankly, I don't want to be sitting around waiting on this machine in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and just make all of these. The energy upgrade requires gold dust in the middle. The speed upgrade requires osmium dust in the middle. The muffling upgrade requires steel dust in the middle. And if you don't know how to make those, most of those you're going to learn how to make right now. So you can either do these two different ways. You can either send the energy upgrade and send them, or any of the upgrades and send them into that and it'll load up, you know, one at a time. Or you can hold it, shift click and right click and they'll send in. Now I'm in creative mode, so they're not being consumed. But, uh, you know, now that I come in here, I can look at speed and I can see that it's maxed out. Eight out of eight, four out of four, and energy is eight out of eight as well. So uh, let's go ahead, now that this thing's fully maxed out, let's show, let's showcase all of the different things that can be done in this machine. Now you can make some pretty cool stuff. And um, some things are super easy to make in vanilla, some things aren't but it's kind of cool either way. So first things first, biofuel. I'll show you guys how to make biofuel in a later video that's already gone live. If you guys have, it's it's in the playlist. It's just, it's filmed later. So it's later on in the playlist if you're watching them in a sequential order. But if you take these 10 biofuel, we're gonna do it one at a time, okay? So one biofuel, you place it into here and now we have, ooh, I have half the biofuel I needed. I didn't realize that one biofuel makes five millibuckets of biomass. I thought it was 10 like everything else. So let me get some biofuel and uh, we'll grab 10 more. There we go. So you need two biofuel to make 10 biomass, okay? And now if you throw in something simple like cobblestone, then it's going to produce mossy cobblestone, which I find is not super hard to make in vanilla, but it's not easy either. And of course, like the, all the other cobblestone variants, uh, you have to obviously you have to fill this in with the right biofuel, but there you go, mossy cobblestone slab. You can do uh, cobblestone walls from mossy, and of course you have your stair variants. So there you go. I'm just going to go ahead and throw all the biofuel in there, so it's all ready. But there you go. So you can do all the cobblestone variants. You can do the stone variants and the. There you go. So all the mossy variants easily done with the metallurgic infuser with just simple biomass. Now you can also send sand through there to make dirt. <laughs> That's kind of cool, right? And then if you throw dirt in there, you can make podzol. Why you'd want to do that? I don't know, but you can, and that's pretty sweet. So there you go. We did some things and learned some stuff for that. Now, the next thing is mushrooms or any kind of mushroom. You don't have to use the red ones. You can use the, uh, well, let me just show you. you. Go into the metallurgic infuser. You can see, uh, let me see if I can find a, an example of this one. There we go. So you can use red mushrooms. You can use warped fungus. You can use crimson fungus and brown mushrooms, just any kind, but I, I chose the red mushroom because they're the easiest to find. Hopefully, I don't have to have, okay, yeah, so it makes fungi. So if you put mushrooms into here, it gives you fungi, and you can probably imagine what's gonna happen here. So if I throw dirt in here, it's gonna create mycelium. If you throw netherrack in there, you're gonna get crimson nylium. And if you throw crimson nylium in there, you'll get warped nylium. Not bad, that's actually kind of cool. Um, Again, I don't know why you need to do that, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to a little bit more 
useful things. Uh, and these include redstone, iron, and osmium. This is when the show really gets interesting, okay? So if I throw one redstone in there, and I throw an iron ingots in there, it gives me an infused alloy. Now, you guys probably know if you've played with mechanism at all, but if you haven't, infused alloy is literally the most important thing in mechanism as far as items go. Like, you're, you're going to use stacks upon stacks upon stacks upon stacks of these things. So, remembering that it's redstone and iron, pretty important. Now, you're going to do also two redstone for a single osmium, and it's going to give you your basic control circuit, which is the second most important item in mechanism. And there you have it. Now, you don't have to use actual redstone. You can enrich your redstone in an enrichment chamber. Uh, it helps a lot, but it just it's harder to keep track of how many of what you're going to need. And what is the deal with this rain? Okay, we're clear. Good. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, infused alloy and basic control circuits, very, very important and very, very useful. In fact, let me just... Take that away, put those up there. Very useful indeed. Redstone and uh, iron, redstone and osmium. Now let's make some bronze now, shall we? Uh, the way to make tin dust is to smelt tin ore and then crush it. You, you turn the ingot into dust. All right, so I'm going to put one tin into here and then I'm going to put three copper dust in here and it's going to give me or bronze dust. All right, so bronze is pretty useful if you don't have very good armor or you can make bronze ingots. It just depends on whatever type of copper you put in there. It's one tin and three bronze, uh, uh, one tin and three copper for either variant. So bronze, pretty useful. Not, you know, I don't use it a lot, but it's also useful in some higher level items. So moving on, we're going to step over and we're going to use coal. All right, so I'm going to put a single piece of coal in there. And again, you can enhance coal, so you don't have to use one each. I think you can enhance it and you get like eight of each when you enhance it or enrich it. But we're just going to do that for now. And we're going to use a single piece of iron. And that gives us enriched iron. Now, if I put that enriched iron back through here, and I put another coal, that gives us steel. And we've used steel a lot in previous videos and stuff. And we just used it in the um, in the in one of the upgrades, the, um, the muffling upgrade here for the metallurgy confuser. So there you go. Now you know how to use... Steel, it's two coal, one iron, and bam, there you go, you got it. Now, the other thing that you can use coal for in the metallurgic infuser is with four gold dust. And that creates your hull ROM, which is a special item that you need for the fusion reactor. We'll get to that eventually. It's a little bit higher tier. So there you have it. Now, it gets really interesting now when, it, when we start using diamond dust and gold dust. So let me go ahead and grab the diamond dust. Diamond dust, you, you have to crush, or no, I think you have to enrich diamonds to get diamond dust, or you might have to crush it. Try one or the other, either one. So if you put one, no, uh, two diamonds with your infused alloy, which you remember the infused alloy is what we used to um, uh, with a redstone and iron, it gives you reinforced alloy, which is a step up. It's a tier tiered system. So the reinforced alloy, very useful in mid-level upgrades and such. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use these other two diamond dust with these two obsidian dust. And you have to enrich obsidian to get in obsidian dust. I'm going to make two of these, actually. This makes re, uh, refined obsidian dust, which is super useful. Because if you throw one of these in here, or it might be more than one. It might be two. Ah, oh, it might be four. Yeah, so refined obsidian. Let me just grab a little bit more refined obsidian. Let me grab two of these. There you go. Throw these in there, and that makes Atomic Alloy, which Atomic Alloy is the, the, the highest tier of the alloys that you can make. And uh, as you can tell, it requires some diamond and obsidian and stuff. Very, very useful item indeed. Now, the last thing, and I think these are probably, honestly, the most fun, is what requires gold dust. All right, gold dust, very, very cool. So I'm going to use four of them, and I'm going to throw them into here. And I'm going to throw four netherite, scra uh, netherite scraps to get netherite dust. So that's pretty cool uh, that you can do that. And then the last one, you have to use 10 gold dust with what you find in the nether, which is blackstone. You throw them together and you get gilded blackstone. Now, gilded blackstone is just a really cool looking stone. Uh, super cool for, you know, construction purposes. It just looks like blackstone with a bunch of gold thrown in there, or it looks like maybe magma or something. It's neat. 
So, uh, yeah, there you go, guys. That covers everything that you can make. Well, you can't make this or this or this, but everything else you can make in the uh, in the uh, infused, what is it called? Metallurgy Confuser. So if you have any questions on how it works or what it's used for, let me know in the comments or join my Discord server. I am very, very uh, happy to help you. Just let me know in the comments or uh, again, jump on the Discord server. Um, and we'll be covering some other future things like the enrichment chamber, doubling your ores, etc., etc. So if you're looking forward to that, let me know by smacking that like button. Subscribe, join the class family. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.